G'day Mr. Fitz here, hope you're well. In this short video, I'm going to show you the process of how we take files out of Inventor. Uh, this can be very useful if you are trying to transfer the file into another CAD program, or in our case, we're going to be doing some 3D printing. So for me, I'm going to 3D print this fidget spinner. So I need to be able to take this information to another program, which will then set me up for 3D printing. So before you go any further, always make sure that you do a thorough check of your model. So always go to view, and if your visual style is not set to shaded with edges, I suggest you do that. Do a bit of a fly around, so you might want to check things like fillets, make sure that they are continuous, that things look nice and smooth, and there's no issue standing out. So do a good navigation. By putting the visual style to shaded with edges, it might pick up any areas which you can't normally see. So if you're using shaded, for example here, this may not show any issues, but shaded with edges can often pick up any problems or areas that are not consistent. The other thing too is I always encourage students to check through dimensions of their work. So you can do that by going to Tools, Distance, and you might check things like this diameter. For example, I want to measure this to make sure that it is going to be correct. So 22 millimeters is the exact size of the bearing going in here. So that is going to be what we call a size for size fit. There is a possibility that the 3D print could be smaller or bigger. There's going to be a what we call a tolerance. So we will have to try this out and see whether that is a suitable size. It could be too tight or it could be too loose. But I'm going to start with 22 millimeters being the same size for a tight fit. You can also measure the distance of um, over the ends here. I'm going to put a hexagonal nut. So I'm going to measure across the flats of my hexagon. And the distance there is 12.85 millimeters. Be careful here that you don't measure across the points or the diagonals is not important. It's always important to measure across the flats of a hexagon. So that looks good, 12.85. That's also the same size as the nuts that I'm using. So I'm hoping that they're going to be nice and snug. Um, and just do a quick check, make sure there's no issues that you can see. So my model looks pretty good. Um, but sometimes you might have some issues with a fillet that's short or something's wrong. What you might also want to do, if I'm going to be pushing my bearing in from this side or my nuts, it might also pay to have a slight fillet. So I might put a 1mm or a 0.5mm fillet on the edges of my hexagonal holes. What will this do? This might make it a bit easier to push our nuts and our bearing in, just taking away that sharp corner so it has a bit of a lead in. So you might want to do that. I recommend it. I found mine quite hard to push in. I had some little dags when I printed this previously. So I recommend that you give that a go. Cool. Let's get this out. So the normal process is always save your model. I suggest you do that always is the first thing you do when you jump onto Inventor and create a new file. Do it as well every 10-15 minutes. I get the habit of pressing Control and S together. Control S is save. I do that with all the documents I ever work on, whether it's Word or whether it is my cat. Oh, my dog's just coming to say g'day. Hello, Betsy. This is Betsy. Hey Betsy, helping out your dad doing some 3D printing. Good work. All right, back to it. So let's export this file. So I said before, save it. What we're gonna do this time is we're gonna save it as a different file format. So click on the I, go to export, not save as, go to export. And here we're gonna choose another CAD format. So click on CAD format. Now down here, 
gives you a world of different file formats we're going to we can export as. Um, I'm not going to teach you these in this lesson, but there are a lot here that are very useful for us to use for other CAD programs. So there are probably 10, 15 common CAD programs that are used out there. Um, SolidWorks, UniGraphics, Creo, just to name a few. And they will all view files like IGES, Parasolid, and step files are very common files we can use to talk between the other CAD programs. And a very common file that we use for 3D printing and prototyping is called an STL file. That's the format we're going to use. Go to STL, click on that, find a place to save this. I'm going to put this on my desktop. Fits fidget STL. Now this is a really important point. Before you click on save, you need to check the options of this file. I'll show you why. Click on options. Very commonly in Inventor, the units are set to centimeters, which is disgusting. You never want to use centimeters. Word that I hate. Click on millimeters, must be millimeters. Otherwise your file will come out the wrong size. So millimeter, click OK and click OK to save this where you want it. That should be pretty quick. What that will do on your desktop is it will create a file or wherever you saved it, a file which is an STL, which we'll then use in another program to do our final steps. Cool, so that's a quick demo on how to take files out of Inventor. As I said, there's other formats you can use for other CAD programs. The most important one we use for 3D printing is an STL file. Cool. I'll show you the next video in a second, which will be how to set up your 3D print. Cheers.